Latest news coming in from the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court has dis disposed of a plea related to Rahul Gandhi's citizenship. The Supreme Court has in fact questioned the petitioners, essentially asking them that just because, and I quote the Supreme Court here, just because the paper notes his citizenship as British, does he become a British citizen? Unquote. So this is the latest we are getting on the Rahul Gandhi citizenship. Rao, remember a petition had been filed in the Supreme Court uh, claiming that he is a British citizen. They had even given some documents uh, to the court on that. I'm joined by my colleague Minakshi Bhanja who has uh, the details of the story. Minakshi, take us through it. We're well, talking about big breaking news and what a shot in the arm for the Congress party. Remember, the Congress had vehemently and uh, completely contentiously uh, dismissed all these allegations by way of a press conference and det detailed uh, release of the memorandum of association of this company. And this gets uh, vetting and approval uh, from the Supreme Court with observations. Just because the document says something does not make him a British citizen. Uh, this observation coming in from no less than the Honorable Chief Justice of India. And with this, uh, for the second time since 2015, uh, this plea pertaining to uh, raising questions about Rahul Gandhi's citizenship now stands dismissed, rejected and junked by the top court of this country. Uh, we had an interesting course of arguments in the court where the, uh, petition, uh, the, the counsel for the petitioner was telling the Supreme Court as to how here is a person who is aspiring to be the Prime Minister despite having a perverted dual citizenship to which Honorable Chief Justice of India shot back saying that he does not aspire to be the Prime Minister but everyone else uh, aspires for him uh, to be the Prime Minister. So essentially, the Supreme Court has not found any merits uh, in this plea, which was, again, questioning uh, the citizenship issue pertaining to Congress President Rahul Gandhi. And for the second time since 2015, uh, this plea, again, stands uh, completely junked by the top court. Right, Manakshi, as you were mentioning that this, of course, is a situation where we can see that this is the second time that the Supreme Court has disposed of such a plea which had raised questions about the Congress president's uh, citizenship and uh, clearly some of these arguments in court uh, being very interesting coming at a time when uh, the country is actually seeing uh, Lok Sabha elections. If you can just take us through our, our viewers through the background of this entire uh, petition and uh, the when it had in fact been filed and uh, what had been some of the arguments made by the petitioner in court today? Well, that's right, uh, Kaunama. Uh, this is the second time around such a plea has been a subject matter of challenge in the Supreme Court. Remember, uh, this issue has gained momentum uh, recently because uh, BJP's MP, Dr. Subramaniam Swami, had again written to the Prime Minister showcasing certain purported documents which said that uh, while that company was being formed in the United Kingdom, Rahul Gandhi purportedly had listed his nationality as uh, British. Now, these set of documents were rubbished by the Congress Party by way of a very high-powered press conference here in New Delhi. Uh, we had even seen uh, his sister and also uh, AICC General Secretary Priyanka Gandhi term it as, and I quote, kya bakwas hai, unquote. Uh, so the Congress was very, very upset, uh, was highly infuriated at such as volumes again been cast uh, at Rahul Gandhi, especially after this issue was uh, settled once in 2015. Uh, be that as it may, this matter came up for consideration. And again, uh, today, uh, these pertinent observations from Honorable Chief Justice of India, uh, which uh, we are bringing to our viewers, where he said, and I quote, just because a paper notes his citizenship as British, does he become a British citizen, unquote. So with these words, clearly the Supreme Court of the opinion that this is something which is a colossal wastage of time and therefore going ahead and completely dismissing. With the, and uh, this is the second time around why that is important, Parama, is now effectively uh, this should rest matters. Remember, there's also a MHA notice uh, which was uh, served to Congress President Rahul Gandhi seeking his response, which again the Congress had right. reiterated that uh, th that notice would be responded to in a befitting manner. Right, Minakshi, thank you so much for bringing us that latest update. Please stay with us. We will need you for the next story as well.